Hi, I'm Robin Hackey, Executive Director and Co-Founder of the Center for Community Investment. For the past four years, we've been working with hospitals and health systems aiming to improve the health of their communities by investing in the social determinants of health, specifically in preserving and producing affordable housing. Community investment is the work of many hands. In this video, you'll hear how health systems have worked with a variety of partners, from residents and local and neighborhood organizations to affiliated and aligned institutions like foundations, government agencies, not-for-profit developers, and banks and other investors to figure out which investments to do and to get them done. In any of the neighborhoods that we're talking about, you must have neighborhood partners. Right? You cannot do this by being the giant bank, hospital, government agency that swoops in. So finding your local partners and the people who know and have lived in and have pride in and believe in their neighborhood is absolutely critical to the success of your project. With the South Side, there are 14 civics and area commissioners. And so showing up to those meetings, our community relations team has done a phenomenal job of showing up even when we don't have anything on the agenda um, and listening to what the community challenges are and figuring out ways for our organization to connect with them um, and be a part of the work that's already planned for or being done in the community. Um, in addition to that, Nationwide Children's Hospital has really made it a priority to keep the community voice at the table throughout their work on the South Side. Um, and so quarterly, we host the Good Neighbor Agreement meetings, uh, which includes neighborhood leadership from those 14 civics and area commissions. Uh, and then we also have a, a non-disclosure group that we meet with quarterly as well, where we're able to get the community's input um, on things that have not already been confirmed here in our organization. So they're able to get a glimpse of what is coming down the pipeline and give authentic voice to um, what they think about what's happening and have the opportunity to maybe um, influence and change it if, um, if that's so choose. I think at one point we were partnering with over 220 community-based organizations uh, and religious organizations. Before we did any of these things, we also met with community members and community boards, with politicians uh, to make sure that we were doing the right thing. I would say that I think one important learning that we've had, and it this is this is kind of work that takes time and a lot of resources, but really working directly with communities to understand what the most important measures are and and how to get at those measures is key. Thinking about you know, using the whole suite of assets is another huge component of this, but then to make sure you're forming those partnerships against all levels. So I, you know, we really think about this work on kind of a multitude of scales. You know, what can we do for member and patient benefit? What can we do at a neighborhood level? And then what can we do at a systems level? But making sure you're thinking about these different level interventions and partnerships that work at all those pieces. You know, so something like American Rescue Plan funds is something that you could apply in any, any one of those pieces, but what's your role as a health institution to find the right community partners to best deploy those dollars, to best serve people or make community benefit, you know, whatever that looks like. The most important things around investment is that you need partners. You're never going to fund all of this alone, but partners can come from a lot of different places. The finance industry, the um, uh, public, you know, city, states, counties. Now there's a lot of ARP funds. Um, they can come from private philanthropy. They can come from um, other companies. So be open to partnerships and be creative in the way you're thinking about your uh, capital. And so um, working as a part of the Healthy Homes team, our work revolves around um, home repair grants, um, increasing home ownership, and um, developing and providing rental housing. And so the home repair grants is really a great tool that has allowed us to show and prove our work in the community. So showing up to say you're going to do something and actually see, having the community see it are two different things, right? And so having the home repair grants, that is a, a, a one of those easy wins where the community community can one, see the work happening, um, in some instances experience the work happening, and then also give voice to the work as well. I won't uh, belabor the point that much, but I will tell you, obviously, you, you, you need to over deliver on whatever you do. Community trust is a real thing. Nationwide Children's Hospital has been on the South Side for decades. 
And even though they have been here physically in the neighborhood, they were not known um, to do the kind of work that they were seeking to do at that time in 2008. So the, the time that it takes to build the trust and being mindful of the fact that it doesn't stop, it is continuous. Um, and, and just accept that, right? Um, it's something that I think is definite challenge um, because we recognize that in the ideal world, um, going and talking about something one time will hopefully cement the deal. But um, uh, in reality, you have to go multiple times and sometimes um, uh, 10, 20 times, depending on the issue to definitely build that trust.